Hey there my friends, my name is Kevin Augusta and I want to thank you for checking out this video. I want to also thank you for listening and for watching this chapter of the day from the scriptures. Now I pray that this message is going to be a blessing to you, um, to your family as well and that you feel encouraged. But also reach out to me on Facebook, um, I'm going to put my links in the description below um, so that we can connect um, and also help and encourage one another. So I pray that today's message is a blessing to you. And um, I look forward to connecting with you even more. And may God continue to bless you. Bye for now. Isaiah 22 The Oracle Concerning the Valley of Vision What do you mean that you have gone up, all of you, to the housetops? You who are full of shoutings, tumultuous city, exultant town? Your slain are not slain with a sword or dead in battle. All your leaders have fled together. Without the bow they were captured. All of you who were found were captured, though they had fled far away. Therefore I said, Look away from me. Let me weep bitter tears. Do not labor to comfort me concerning the destruction of the daughter of my people. For the Lord God of hosts has a day of tumult and trampling and confusion in the valley of vision, a battering down of walls and a shouting to the mountains. And Elam bore the quiver with chariots and horsemen, and Kir uncovered the shield. Your choicest valleys were full of chariots, and the horsemen took their stand at the gates. He has taken away the covering of Judah. In that day you looked to the weapons of the house of the forest, and you saw that the breaches of the city of David were many. You collected the waters of the lower pool, and you counted the houses of Jerusalem, and you broke down the houses to fortify the wall. You made a reservoir between the two walls for the water of the old pool, but you did not look to him who did it, or see him who planned it long ago. In that day the Lord God of hosts called for weeping and mourning, for baldness and wearing sackcloth. And behold, joy and gladness, killing oxen and slaughtering sheep, eating flesh and drinking wine. Let us eat and drink, for tomorrow we die. The Lord of hosts has revealed himself in my ears. Surely this iniquity will not be atoned for you until you die. Says the Lord God of hosts. Thus says the Lord God of hosts. Come, go to this steward, to Shebna, who is over the household, and say to him, What have you to do here, and whom have you here that you have cut out here a tomb for yourself? You who cut out a tomb on the height and carve a dwelling for yourself in the rock. Behold, the Lord will hurl you away violently, O oh, you strong man. He will seize firm hold on you and whirl you around and around and throw you like a ball into a wide land. There you shall die, and there shall be your glorious chariots, you shame of your master's house. I will thrust you from your office, and you will be pulled down from your station. In that day, I will call my servant, Eliakim, the son of Hilkiah, and I will clothe him with your robe, and will bind your sash on him, and will commit your authority to his hand. And he shall be a father to the inhabitants of Jerusalem and to the house of Judah, and I will place on his shoulder the key of the house of David. He shall open and none shall shut, and he shall shut, and none shall open, and I will fasten him like a peg in a secure place, and he will become a throne of honor to his father's house. And they will hang on him the whole honor of his father's house, the offspring and issue, every small vessel, from the cups to all the flagons. In that day, declares the Lord of hosts, the peg that was fastened in a secure place will give way, and it will be cut down and fall and the load that was on it will be cut off, for the Lord has spoken. Hey there, my friends. My name is Kelvin Augusta again. Thank you for checking out this episode of One Minute Bible Study. Here, the goal is to really share some word of encouragement, share the scriptures, um, share something from the Bible to inspire us to live godly lives, to get closer to Christ, and to connect with God. So again, if you have any questions, issues, quarrels, comments, uh, recommendations, or you just want to reach out, um, I'm going to put my links to Facebook, my personal profile. I will look forward to connecting with you, um, to helping encourage one another and to share 
in any way that we can be a blessing to one another. So again, feel free to connect with me below. Thank you again for checking out this episode of One Minute Bible Study, where we've shared scripture, we've shared encouragement, um, and I look forward to connecting with you. May God continue to bless you. Bye for now.